Hello guys, welcome back to the Kent Survival Channel. Today I'm going to be looking at an individual French ration, or ration individuel d'exercise. I'm not very good at French. <laughs> uh, this is just an individual version of the 24 hour uh, pack, the same sort of components, just put down to one meal. So, this is the first one of these I've actually had. Can I get into this? And see what we're in for. I do actually have a 24 hour French ration that I've uh, not got into yet. Probably should have done that first, but uh, <laughs> the uh, individual meals are a bit easier for me to do as I do them out and about. Okay, as you can see, this is menu number five. I believe this to be Italian salad. There we go. So, up on the side here, we have a uh, Pack of tissues. I have some biscuits to campaign. Uh, pate de fruits or fruit bar, jelly bar, I'm guessing. Chocolate bar. Looks like a dark chocolate. There is a train track nearby and a kennel, so I do apologise for the noise on this video. It's a bit noisier than usual. So oh, we've got a uh, Gâteau de Semeru, creme caramel, Trine de Surf, and the Italian salad. So I do believe these are designed to uh, be eaten cold, so I've not brought a stove with me today. So yeah, let's get some of this out. So first with our biscuits, I do believe that you get um, a savoury pack and a sweet pack from what I've seen of uh, Gundog's video, I believe it was. Yeah, so there's two, definitely two different types here. A little bit broken up. And a little bit hard to open. both over the side there. Get out our chocolate bar. 1848, 64% chocolate. Oh, so as you can see it's bloomed a little bit. So the temperature probably hasn't been very consistent the way it's been kept. That may have been me myself or just in, in postage. Let's get out our creme caramel. That's going to be left in its uh, <laughs> in its pot. Our terrine de surf. There we go. Our jelly bar. Well, I believe it to be a jelly bar. Quite a lot of uh, sweets inside this. And our salad Italian. And there we go. Well, I'll put our, our tissues here. So you don't get a drink component with this individual meal, so I'm assuming they just have a canteen of water and I'll spray like this, probably. So I'm just going to use my new mug from Mike over at Cornish Knives and Camping. We recently went to Dartmoor, you can see that video if you go to my channel. So thanks again for that, Mike. I'll uh, just be having some water in there. So as this doesn't come with uh, its own cutlery, I'm just going to be using uh, an American MRE spoon here. So how are we going to start this off? I think I'll start off with this terrine. So I believe that this is venison terrine. So let's uh, just show you that a bit closer. Very oily, very fatty. So if I find out which one of these is savoury. So these ones, 
the light ones are the savoury ones. I'm just going to use a bit of this venison pate on here. Mm, that's pretty nice, I could quite happily eat that. I don't really eat a lot of venison personally, but uh, this is quite nice. Such a noisy spot here today, I've just had a helicopter go over and I can already hear an aeroplane going over. Well. So yeah, with the um, crackers this is uh, pretty salty. I like it. Well, I'm going to dive right in with the main here. So we've got bits of uh, peppers, olives, pasta, tomatoes, and some meat which is... Gonna double check. Yes, we've got bits of ham in there as well. So try and get a bit of pasta and a bit of the ham on there. There we go. Hmm, gonna go straight back in for another piece of that. It's um, pretty refreshing, pretty it's a nice like a summer meal. Nice big bits of ham in there. Yeah, that's a good, very nice summer salad. Some onion there. Gonna have a bit of a olive here as well, even though I'm not a big olive fan. Yeah, that's delicious. Very refreshing. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna go in and have with the sweet biscuit. Perfectly fine. Might be good to dip in here. In fact, I'm gonna go straight on with that right now. Oh, that's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. This uh, creme caramel, the biscuit. It's a good mixture of um, textures. You could get bored or dry with one or the other, but um, having them together is very good. There you go, straight back in with that. There you go. Oh, that's lovely. I've heard these French rations are good, but um, not being a fish lover, most of the menus uh, do have a fish component, but um, I managed to find one here that didn't have. All right, let's go in with uh, some of this chocolate. Does have the logo on there, but with it being a bit bloomed, it's uh, not that visible. You can see there how dark the chocolate actually is, and it's pretty good. So um, it's quite a dry chocolate because it's quite a high cocoa percentage, but yeah, that's nice. Let's go in with yet yeah, another one of our sweet components and uh, try a fruit jelly bar. Pretty much what you'd expect to be honest. Pretty good pick me up while you're out and about, like before or after you actually get to eat your meal. Oh, yeah. Just gonna have some of my Cornish water to wash it down. Yeah, so quite a, a quick review today of our um, individual ration, uh, menu number five from France. But um, a very good one indeed. I'm very happy with this. I'm going to happily sit here in the woods and uh, finish this meal off. If you've enjoyed this uh, review, I do have many others at this point. I'll put a couple on the screen now. You can check out my channel. I also do camping videos and gear reviews as well as other bits and bobs. So please check that out. Hope to see you again soon. Thanks very much.